Hey guys, Leafly here, and I'm here doing the video about why I don't really play Grand Blue anymore. And it's not because I don't like Relink. Um, it's not like that I don't like Grand Blue. In fact, I'm I'm still a huge fan of Grand Blue, and I play the mobile game a lot. We just got finished with uh, Guild Wars a couple days ago. That was a lot of fun. Uh, game. <laughs> it's a little salty because we lost a lot of fights. The Japanese were strong this time. Why did I stop playing Relink? There's a couple reasons. Uh, a lot of them are related to actually game design and just kind of what I like about games. And um, just a little backstory. I'm, I've I've been working in the video game industry for over 10 years. Um, a lot of that is a game designer. And I've worked on some... Uh, I've worked only as a game designer, but various trades within, within the game industry. I worked at Blizzard and I worked at Riot Games um, on League of Legends. That's a little bit about me. So why did I stop playing Grand Blue? couple reasons number one is that the game is actually more difficult with players than it is with ai i don't really think that's necessarily a huge problem it is a little demoralizing um it's it's like i, I remember when i started playing the new boss me and my friend almost two man cleared it we actually stopped playing on purpose and let the boss kill us because we didn't want to beat it without our full team we went around and started playing with our full team and then it took us a bunch of times before we actually were able to get the clear um other reasons are and this is the big one for me at least, is that player expression has worsened in the game. So even before this patch, player expression was already pretty, pretty bad. You know, your three damage cap sigils, uh, your two supplemental damages, and then you had your or elemental, and then by then you already have most of your slots filled up. It was already like to play optimally. And, you know, a lot of these bosses do have damage checks. Builds were very tight and you had very little room to actually, you know, play things in your way, in your style. I, I don't find that personally very fun, especially in an RPG, a multiplayer RPG. I like to be able to try different builds. It just wasn't encouraged in this game. And the problem again is that a lot of the player expression, you know, it's even worse for players that don't play as much as I do because I have access to, you know, double sigils plus sigils of damage cap and I don't even have any supplemental damage pluses. And I've been playing how many hours? Hundreds of hours. Over, what, over 300 hours I've played the game. It really only left player expression to people that played a crap ton and to cheaters. It didn't really, I didn't really like it that much. That, that That's kind of how it went. So now with a new patch, they introduced new sigils and the new sigils had this, have the same problem. They take another slot in your sigil grid, which just made it even worse. So now like you have even less room to actually change, change your build. And I just didn't find that fun. And on top of that, I'm not that excited for sigils being a drop. Like Bahamut was really nice because you would get weapons and it was like really excited to get like a new weapon and like looks really cool on your character. And you have like a new thing to level up. Um, And it wasn't like that in the game. You didn't, you didn't get weapons. So a lot of us kind of just didn't want to play anymore. The fight was definitely fun and it was a great, it was a joy for people that did play Grand Blue Fantasy Mobile. Uh, you got to see like really cool, really cool um, cutscenes. You know, it was it was such a, a love letter to the fans. And I really did like that. But I really wish we got better loot for it. And also, again, the patch was just a single boss fight. I don't really think this is a problem in terms of... I don't think Psy Games just intended it to be that way. I don't think they on purpose were like, let's let's give our community like barely anything. I think what happened was I didn't think they expected the game to do so well. And then the game did do so well. And then now they're like, oh, now we don't have any content really. So it was just intended to be a bonus. So I think that's where we're at with it. And we don't really know what the future looks like for the game. The silver lining is that we're going to find out a little bit more with a new live stream on the 25th. So they're going to be doing a live stream, probably showcasing things like Sandalfon, Song in Siete, but they'll probably talk more about the future of the game. And that's probably why they needed the extra time um, because during anniversary, they didn't, they revealed Sandalfon, but they didn't really talk much about the future of the game. And I'm guessing that they were kind of surprised by how well the game did. So they're just going to, they, they took the extra time to like make a new live stream the next month. And then they'll tell us like what their plans are for the game on the 25th. And I'm definitely going to like live stream that and simulcast that. So we'll be here for that. And again, like I really love Grand Blue so much. I'm going to keep playing it. And I really hope that the new patches change things and uh, I get, I can get excited for the game again. Um, I've been playing things like Helldivers, which has been, you know, incredible fun unicorn overlord um so i'm still streaming mostly on twitch but 
also here sometimes on YouTube. Anyway, that's that's it. And, uh, you know, hopefully the next patch is, is great. And then we can come back and uh, play a lot more and have have a lot more fun with uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. So what did you guys think of the Grand Blue Fantasy Relink Lucilius patch? Did you guys think that there was a problem or are you guys fine with it? Um, I, I'd really like to know what you think, you know, as a game designer. Like, do you enjoy the new patch? Are you having an amazing time with it? Or are you feeling the same sentiments that me and my friends do? Please let me know in the comments. I'll read I'll read every single one of them. And uh, I'm really excited to know what you have to say about it. And um, if you like the video, if you want to see more stuff like this, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Peace out, guys.